Good morning, Hearst Hills Falcon families. It's your friendly neighborhood librarian here to talk to you for a few minutes about all the stuff going on in the library and especially the book fair. So let's start off with last week. Last week, we got to have an awesome time with a virtual author's visit for our first graders and some extra content for everyone else as I interviewed uh, author Angela Henderson Smith, who wrote Isaac's Ice Cream Tree, Isaac and Izzy's Treehouse, and Isaac and Izzy's Magical Maples. Um, now, this uh, author, she we had a really good time, and one of the things that's really cool is on our YouTube channel now, the Hearst Hills Elementary Library YouTube channel, you can see there's like a 29-minute interview I did with this author where we talked about the process of writing children's books and sort of some of her inspiration and some of the things that she's learned over the years, which we shared with all of our grades that were above third grade, uh, kind of hoping to inspire them to write some more. So uh, that was a really fun time. Hope you get a chance to check that out. We also launched One Book, One School. Um, we launched this during our math and science night. And every single student got a free copy of this book, Jake Drake Know-It-All. Now, every Wednesday and Friday, they're watching videos of teachers reading the chapters of this book. We started on Friday of last week with Miss Donahoe reading chapter one. It has 11 chapters, and uh, it's about, about five to 11 minutes uh, for each chapter to be read, and they get to hear that chapter during class, which is a lot of fun. This is a funny book, but it also does a great job teaching the scientific method. This upcoming Friday, we've got a lot going on. We've got our Proud Crowd, we've got Maker Mania, and we've got Book Fair Preview. So let's talk about Maker Mania for a minute. Those students who have uh, art class will be going to uh, participate in an activity based around the book Valenslime. Now, during the fall, we had this based around the book Frankenslime. The Hearst Hills Public Library has partnered with us to help the kids to make slime. We're doing it in as neat and clean of a fashion as possible. Um, it's going in Ziploc baggies and it will go home with the students. Um, and this slime that they're making in this, uh, with this book, there's uh, some recipes in the back of the Valen Slime book. And they are making, I think it's on the next page back, uh, Sniftastic Flower Slime. So it smells real floral. Um, and so that'll be a lot of fun. We really appreciate the Hearst Public Library helping us to do something fun for the kids. Um, those who have music class will get a lesson in, that revolves around the rhythm of reggae. Um, so for adults, there is a biopic movie that comes out on Wednesday about Bob Marley. It's definitely not appropriate for our children, but Bob Marley is a musical legend, an icon, and great for Black History Month. So we have a picture book here in the library called I and I, which is a poetic biography picture book uh, that tells the story of Bob Marley. We've got the Who Is, Who Was book. And then we have these three really fun books, Get Up, Stand Up, uh, Every Little Thing, and One Love, which are all adapted from Bob Marley's songs by his daughter, Sadella Marley. Um, and so we're talking a little bit about Bob Marley and his contribution to music and, and the introduction of reggae. And then we're also uh, continuing on with sort of a rhythm lesson in music during Maker Mania. So if they have music, that's what they'll be doing. Uh, a lot of fun stuff coming up. And that leads us to the last thing we want to talk about, which is Book Fair Preview and Book Fair. So Friday is Book Fair Preview Day. Every student will make it into the library. Um, just about every student will make it into the library and get a chance to preview the books that are available for the book fair. Now, what we encourage them to do is write down the name of the book and the cost of the book. But we do want to remind you that the cost of the book does not include tax, but when we ring them up, it will be there. So tax is 8.25% that you'll want to add to the total of the cost of their books. Okay. Um, we do also already have available our, our online book fair, pardon me, our online book fair, which you can find at efairs.literati.com. Now you can shop online. They have a wider variety of books than we'll have in the actual physical book fair. And you can have those books shipped to your house or shipped here to the school. If they get shipped here to the school, they'll get shipped near the end of the book fair and I'll deliver those books to their class. It's a great opportunity for those of you who don't quite want to send your children with money yet. Another great option for you for if you're, if you're not really wanting to send your kid with money yet is there is the opportunity to purchase uh, uh, gift cards for the book fair at literati.com. 
And essentially you could put in whatever amount that you want and you print out a page and send it with your kid or you can email that to your kid's teacher or email it to me. As long as it has a name attached to it, we can make sure where that money goes. Sometimes we have parents who will gift gift cards to the book fair itself and we use those gift cards to help pay for kids who just don't have enough to purchase books at the book fair. Um, so that is an option as well. We really encourage you to get gift cards if you can, rather than send your cards with your credit cards or debit cards with your kids. But if your kid's trustworthy and, 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 and good with that kind of stuff, I know I'm not going to send my eight-year-old with my debit card, but maybe my 11-year-old, I'd feel good with that. Um, if your kid's trustworthy and you're ready to send them with a, a card, we will take cards at the book fair, but our rule is that we will only swipe that card once so they can't purchase things and then leave and come back and purchase more things with that card. They can only purchase once on that card. Okay, the book fair will be not, so Friday's book fair preview, the book fair will launch on Tuesday of next week since we don't have school on Monday. We'll have the book fair during the school day on Tuesday. We will not have the book fair during the school day on Wednesday as it will be a closed campus for testing, but it will be open Wednesday night for uh, Cruising the Continents, our uh, community event, and we hope that you'll come out. Great time for you to come with your kids to the book fair is at that, that evening. Then Thursday and Friday, book fair will be open. We usually shut the book fair down in the middle of the day on Friday, about one o'clock to give me time to close up and pack everything up and get it ready to be shipped back. So we hope that you'll participate in the book fair. We're excited about all these things going on in the library. And thank you guys all for all your support. We appreciate it.